All right, we have our main landing page developed, showing off each listing along with tags and a search bar. Now we need to develop the individual listing page for when someone clicks on one of these to get more information about the job. Heading back into our code base, let's open up the routes web file and add a new route under our landing page one. This is going to resolve to slash and then in curly brackets, listing, which means that Laravel will parse anything after that slash to the variable listing. And we're going to use the listing controller's show method to resolve this route calling it listings.show. There is a slight problem here though. Because the route that we just described parses everything after the domain, and because Laravel reads route files from the top to bottom, that means that someone trying to access the dashboard route will be passed to the listing controller's show method. We don't want that to happen. So instead, let's move this to the very bottom. This style of route is what I'd like to call a catch-all route because any URL visited on our app that doesn't resolve in the above methods will end up getting passed through this route. Let's head into our listing controller and create that method now. Public function show, and we're going to include two parameters, listing listing and request request. This way we can utilize Laravel's model route binding and immediately get a listing object back instead of having to perform a query. Plus, if one isn't found, a 404 response is returned by default. Let's test this out by returning that listing. And in our main listings.index file, we can update the link for each of the listings to point to our listings.show route, passing in the listing slug. Now if we refresh our browser and click on one, we're getting a 404, when we should be seeing the listing object's data. Well, the reason for that is that, by default, Laravel expects the model's ID as the resolver in the URL for model route binding. We provided the slug. See, if we update the URL to an ID, say, 1, we get a listing object back as expected. But we want that slug in the URL instead of just an auto-incrementing ID. This is fairly easy to solve, though. All we have to do is open up our listing model. Under the guarded attribute, we can add a new method called getRouteKeyName, and this expects a string returned, corresponding to the column in the database that we want to reference for the model route binding. In our case, that's slug. So now if we head back into our browser and refresh the same page, we can see the listing object, which is exactly what we expected. Okay, so now we have the appropriate data coming through. Let's pass this into a view. Return view listings.show compact listing. And we'll create that show.blade.php view in our listings directory. Just like with the listings index view, we're going to use the X app layout component here. We'll create a container with some margin spacing. and add in a heading with the listing's title. Under that, let's run a for each loop and list out each of the tags associated with this particular listing. And I'll style them just like they are on the listing's index view. After that, we'll create a container area for our content. Using the flex layout so we can have a main content area and a sidebar area for our other details, the content area will take up three-fourths of the container. And we'll echo out the listing's content. Without stripping away HTML and special characters, this way, the HTML saved in the listing's content column is displayed here as intended, and then a sidebar area taking up the remaining one-fourth of the container, where we'll display the listing's logo image,
as well as the location. And company name. And then finally under all of that, we'll have a button that a visitor can click to get redirected to the listing's application URL. Let's finish it up with some appropriate Tailwind classes. Head back into our browser and refresh. All right, that's looking good. We have our listings title, the tags associated with it, which those should all be uppercase, so let's fix that real quick. Okay, that's better. And the content associated with the listing formatted and displaying exactly as intended. Then on the sidebar, we have the logo image, company and location information, and the apply now button, which should also be uppercase. Okay, so right now, these Apply Now buttons don't have any functionality. They don't go anywhere. Let's fix that and record some information from the visitor at the same time. Back in our code base in the routes web file, under our first catch-all route, let's add another. Tacking on slash apply to it. Have that call the listing controller's apply method. And we'll call it listings.apply. Opening back up our listing controller, let's add in that method. Public function apply, listing listing, request request, just like the show method. What our end goal is for this method is to redirect the user to the apply link value from our listing object. But first, I want to record the button press in our clicks table. We can associate a new click with that particular listing by calling the clicks method on the listing object and then chaining on create, passing in an array of the values that we want to store. For the click, we need a user agent, which we can get from the request object's user agent method, and an IP address from the same named method on the request object. And then finally, Return a redirect to the listing's apply link. On the listing's show page, we can update the apply now button href attribute to point to the listings.apply route, passing in the listing slug. If we head back to our listing and refresh the browser, we can copy this button's URL and see that it's going to the same page just with an apply added to the end. And if we click that button, we are eventually redirected to the apply link that was stored in the database for this particular listing. Exactly what we're expecting. Heading into the database and opening up the clicks table, we can see that our click was recorded successfully. It's attached to the correct listing and has my IP address and user agent recorded and stored successfully. While I'm not going to cover it in this video series, if you would like to get more information from that user agent, you can install this package, ParserPHP. It takes that user agent string and gives you back a wide range of methods and options to help determine what browser or hardware your visitor is using. It could be helpful for generating analytics graphs, diagnostics and debugging, or just general informational purposes. Back in our application, I'm going to go through two listings and try their apply links as well. All right, all of them redirected me as expected. And if we take a look in the database, you can see two new entries containing the same IP address and user agent, but on different listings. Coming up next, we're going to create a form and use cashier to purchase and save a new listing to our job board.